the world's largest bioluminescent area, an area so big you can see it from space, went unknown to science until 2005. This was common sailor lore, that sometimes you'd, you'd sail into these areas where the, the sea was white and light was glowing up from below the ship. The reason scientists didn't know about it is they didn't think it was possible for that many microorganisms to be in one place doing something together. But they were wrong. So how did the Milky Seas finally get spotted by science? Well, Google helped. In 2005, a scientist named Steve Miller was musing over lunch whether it would even be possible for a light sensing satellite to see bioluminescence in the ocean. He got home and he started Googling. Came across a 1995 report from the SS Lima. The exact words are, the bioluminescence appeared to cover the sea horizon to horizon. Lucky for Steve Miller, as he matched the, uh, the report from the SS Lima with the satellite data, a very clear image began to resolve. There was in fact a corresponding area of bioluminescence that was enormous. This was the first hard proof of the Milky Seas. The bacteria they think causes the Milky Seas is a bacteria called Vibrio harvii. It doesn't want to scare off predators, it wants to attract fish because the place that it wants to live is on the inside of a fish. So the amount of bacteria it would take to make a glowing area the size of Connecticut is almost unfathomable. It is 40 billion trillion bacteria. If each bacteria were the size of a grain of sand, the grain of sand would cover the earth 10 centimeters deep. The whole earth, all of it. What causes this? The truth is, is they don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know how it forms. We don't know what the conditions are. But what we do know is that it does happen. And you know who else knew it? Jules Verne. In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, he describes the SS Nautilus coming across this phenomenon. It's likely actually that Jules Verne used real ship's logs to describe uh, the Milky Seas. Well, it may have taken science until 2005 to find definitive proof of the Milky Seas. Jules Verne was eerily scientifically accurate in 1869. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. Siri, when was 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea published? The answer is 1,869. <laughs> if you have uh, places you've traveled to that you thought were just the most amazing thing you've ever seen, hidden wonders you'd like to share with us, please uh, let us know in the comments, follow us on Twitter and tell us there, let us know on Facebook, we would love to hear about it.